In this video, let's see how to create a post list based on the current post category that's displaying and including the current post in that list and at the same time uh, enabling to highlight that current post in the list. So let's go to our theme builder. I'm using Elementor Pro. So if you go ahead and go to template, templates and theme builder, let's create first a new template for our posts. Now I've created several posts here with the category called test category. So we have test post one, two, three, four. And uh, let's now create a new template. I will choose single post and I will type here test post template. Let's call it one. And I will go ahead and create this template. In the settings, let me just change the page layout to Elementor Canvas because that's the one I will be using. And uh, now let's go ahead and create a two column lay layout. Now I'm using an old version of Elementor, so you might have a little bit different setup, but basically that's uh, that will be more or less the same logic that we will use in this video. So let me go to widgets and first I will just type, uh, I will just place the post title widget here just to have some kind of content from our post. And in this left sidebar, I will now go ahead to widgets and put the posts widget. So if I find the posts here, I will just drop it here. And let me just style this a little bit. I will remove the three columns and create a one column layout. I want to remove the image, so I, will, I won't have any image, images from the posts. And I will also remove the meta metadata, so I won't have any date and so on. And I also want to remove the read more button and also to remove the excerpt. Now, let me just quickly click on publish so that we can add the condition. I will include the singular posts in category of my test category that I used. So I will just click save and close. So now let's click on the posts widget. And first of all, in the advanced, I will assign a CSS class to this post widget. So I will type, I will call it something like post list. Just remember this class, whatever it is. You can name it as, as you want. Don't use the dot. You can just type whatever name you want, excluding the spaces. So don't use the spaces for your class name. I will type post list and I will remember it. Then I will go to content and go to query. Source, we will leave this as posts. Include by, I will leave this uh, to be empty. And in uh, query ID, actually, while I'm still here, let me just change the order to ascending instead of descending. And the last thing that I want to add is in query, query ID, I will type my, then this kind of, uh, kind of bottom dash or bottom line, my custom filter. And again, I will remember this. I will click on update. You can see that it is changing the names of the posts here, uh, but uh, don't worry, this is just for the preview purposes. Now I want to go to snippets. I am using a code snippets to uh, insert basically bits of PHP code on my website. So you want to use that plugin. Uh, I will link to it in the description of the video and I will add a new snippet. So I will just go to add a new. Let me just call this so that I can orient myself in the, in the code library. So I will type here a current post category highlight or whatever you want to write. Now in this PHP field, I will just copy and paste the code that you can also copy using the link in the description of this video. And what this PHP code will do is basically display the posts of the same category as the current post that we are viewing. Then it will also include the current post in this list. And at the same time, it will assign a CSS class to that current post in the list so that then we can go to our CSS grab that class, style it, and it will style and uh, maybe emphasize or make that current post in the list appear differently from the remaining posts in the list. So you don't have to actually understand everything that's written here, but that's basically the logic behind this code. And um, basically what it will create, as I said, is that it will create a new CSS class for the current post. Let's just select only run on site front end and activate this code. Now we can open one of the posts uh, that I've created. For example, this 
post one. Let's just go here and let's open, for example, post three. I will go to view. And now you can see that I have the title here and I have the list of the posts that belong to this current, to the category of this current post. So all these posts, as I said, were in the same category. So whichever category we are viewing here, uh, it can be some other category that we apply the template to, it will show us only the posts of that category. And at the same time, it will include the current post, which is post three in that list. And that is the main difference between, for example, related posts. If we are using related posts widget in Elementor, it, will, it won't include the current post in that list. And uh, now let's see how to actually style this test post three, because that is the current post and we want to make it look a little bit different in this list to highlight that this is the post that we are actually viewing and reading currently. In order to do that, we can just go to our custom CSS and I'm using a simple custom CSS and JavaScript plugin that I will link to in the description of the video. And uh, then we can just use uh, the class. Now the class of our post widget, if you remember, if I go back to my Elementor, you can see that in the advanced, we assign the class called post list. So all I need to do is type dot post list that will grab basically the post widget and uh, then basically to style our current post all we need to do is type space and then dot elementor post and then dot current post and then a for selector which is basically selecting the link in our post list so this is basically the logic so this first class is the name of the class of the post widget that we assigned and then we type a space and then dot elementor post dot current post. Now this current post, this is actually the class that's been, uh, that has been generated through this code that we added in the snippets. If we go ahead and edit this snippet or just view it, you can see that this is the class current post that this code is basically creating for us in the backend. So this current post that's the class assigned to the current post in the list. And that's how basically we can now style it. I will just type A to select my link. And then I can, for example, say, make this current post red color. I will just add an important tag just in case, update the CSS code. And now if we refresh the page of our post, let's see what it does. And you can see that the current post is currently red because that's how we defined it in CSS. If I click on post two, it will highlight this current post and so on. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.